Hi, I'm James, and in this video I am replacing the hard drive in an Acer Aspire V5 531 laptop. Now this laptop, the hard drive, has begun to fail. We were getting some Windows corruption issues, so we are going to remove it. Uh, unfortunately on this laptop that does mean a fair bit of disassembly, so we are going to start by removing the battery. Uh, I have already removed the two screws here as we had to make some modifications to the keyboard. Um, this one holds in the keyboard, it also does not hold in the optical drive, that must be attached elsewhere it appears. So let's start by removing some of these lower chassis screws. As we remove these we are going to place them up the top in the same arrangement as we are removing them from the bottom of the laptop. This just makes it a little easier to keep track from where different screws came. There's quite a number of screws in the base of this laptop so it will take a little bit of time. I will likely therefore fast forward this to save you just having to watch me unscrewing things. Okay, with these screws now removed, what we need to do is unscrew the access panel at the base here. Now this will give us access to the laptop's memory modules. You can see in this particular laptop we have one module installed but a slot available for a second. And we are also going to now remove the optical drive if this will pull out. That is interesting, so perhaps this is retained from the top rather than below. But with all the screws removed, we're going to turn the laptop over now. Open it up. And we need now to remove the keyboard. So by sliding our pry tool in along the top edge, we can now release the keyboard. And normally there is a sort of foil cover on this which a couple screws go into. In this laptop that's actually been removed as there were some issues with it. Um, but we are going to do the two mini clips here. And with that done we can remove the keyboard. And then we also have here the ribbon cable for the power connector. And here a second ribbon cable for the touchpad. Both of these just lift up to release. We can also see here where the optical drive, we couldn't remove that. That is because there is a screw down connector here. That uh, screw, sorry. Which is holding in the optical drive. With that released, we can now pull out the drive. There are also a couple screws holding down the plastic surround here, so we are going to remove each of those. This one, I'm sorry, the metal on the uh, touchpad, on the top cover here. And a second one here which is also holding down the wireless card. And one towards the top, in fact a pair of them towards the top here. So if we remove that and that. Okay, and with that done we can now work our way round the edges of the chassis, releasing the upper cover. We may need also to remove the power button module there. Let's see if that is... No, it looks like that was probably unrelated. Yep, but we'll leave that unscrewed for the moment. 
And we're going to get our pry tool and just use this to go along the bottom edge to release the clips. As so. And then work our way around the edges of the chassis. Releasing further there and lifting up towards the back. And with that we have separated the two halves of the chassis. Now this, as we can see now, gives us access to the hard drive. So this, it appears, we just lift up and pull forward. The connector on it is on a small ribbon cable, so by removing that we now have the drive removed. We can fit our replacement drive to get this laptop up and running again. Um, other than that, there isn't going to be a huge amount upgradable. The processor in this machine is soldered down. Um, but if we need to repair the fan assembly or access the wireless card, then these are available to us here as well. I hope you found this video useful. Um, if you want to see more from us, then hit the subscribe button. And um, thank you for watching.